for your question. Yes, I'm a back robot, Aradi Selira. Oh, my speech which I gave to the clan leaders is of course you are aware conflicts in Lango here mainly is generated from land wrangles. When you hear people going to police saying reporting cases of criminal trespass, malicious damage, when you go down you find the root cause is land wrangle. And this land in Lango is not put into good use. People have big sunk of land, but it's not being utilized for, uh, for, for production. Now we have Operation Wealth Creation. And you find most of our people are not using this land, but they are just proud of it and saying we have land, our wealth is land. Land cannot be your wealth if you don't use it for production. So that is a great thing which is causing poverty in language. It's not that we don't have land, land is there. So let the clan leaders now spearhead this sensitization, this mobilization which we, are, we have started to go down to their people, to their subjects, and ensure that they use this land, they cultivate, they plant crops, and also not only one kind of crop. They have to diversify. This recent shortage of food, food and security we are experiencing now is not only as a result of the prolonged drought which happened last year. You know here we only concentrate on beans and cassava. We are forgetting about the millets. If, simsim is, is, if at all simsim is grown, is now for, for, for cash, we have to sell it. It's now a cash crop, no longer a food crop as it used to be. So this is something which is very dangerous for our society. Banana DC, uh, what is your opinion on uh, cultural leaders leaving a lot of issues that they would have solved because of their individual infighting, especially on the issues of land? If the cultural leaders maybe came into engagement with the community, would be having less of these land values. What is your opinion on the way the cultural leaders have just abandoned? Now, the, the challenge is some of these cultural leaders, I'm not ashamed to say this, they are just there for prestige. They don't go down to help us government solve problems. But I must also thank a few of them who normally engage us to go with them down. And some of them, when we invite them, when we have issues with their subjects, they come to support us. But the majority are not doing the right thing. They are just, they have occupied themselves with this issue of wrangles, of leadership. But nothing, they are not really serving their subjects. That's where the gap is. But if they can only turn from that kind of behavior and know that they are in leadership to serve the subjects, I don't think we would be having this kind of problems we are having right now with our society, no. Is there a gap that you feel like also the, the local government leadership, let's say the district, the municipality, the division leadership, are also uh, fueling land wrangles? Because yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a very big gap in the local government here. I wouldn't say it is government itself, but individuals especially the technocrats. Right now we are handling issues where you find land is allocated to somebody by the land board and the same land again allocated to two other individuals. So this one here becomes a complicated issue. And now we are investigating very many issues. One of them is the recent one which is between Ireda Primary School and Uganda Technical College. Same piece of land having two titles. Who did this? Mm. It's our technical people, which is causing wrangle. I just gave you that one as an example. So some of us are not doing the correct thing, and we are failing it. And corruption, corruption has also contributed a lot to this kind of wrangles, which has now grown and graduated into what I may term insecurity.
which is putting us, especially like me and RDC and the police, on our toes, fighting these running battles. You are here solving this. The other one is there has killed a friend. The other one has killed a clan mate over land issues. We, some of us, are contributing to this kind of